Hello friends, my name is Funke Kasali. Thank you for letting me have this moment of your time. Today I'd like to share four secrets with you from the book of 2 Kings, chapter number 4 from verses 1 to 7. This story is about one of the wives of the prophets who had died and left a huge debt for his wife and two sons. And the creditors had gone to her to take her two sons to make them slaves. Now the first thing she did was she went to the man of God. She went to prophet Elisha and she said, look, I need help. That's a lesson for you and I. Where do you go when trouble comes? Do you run to your family? Do you run to friends? Do you run to your co-workers? Run to God. He has the answer. The Bible lets us know that Elisha said to her, what do you have in your house? What is it that you have? That's a lesson that God showed me. You know, the solution to that problem is right with you. It's in your house. It's within you. It's in your hand. It may be a book you need to write. Maybe a song. Maybe a business that you need to start. The solution to your problem is right with your people. And she said to him, I only have a pot of oil. Only. <laughs> she had a great possession. And the Bible lets us know that the prophet said to her, go out there, borrow many vessels, borrow as many as you can. In fact, he said to her, don't borrow just a few. And when you've borrowed them, shut the door behind you and your sons and fill all the vessels. Then you go and sell. She needed to shut the door and you need to do so. Sometimes people come to you and they doubt what God has told you. Shut the door against them. Shut the door against naysayers, dream killers, doubters. Those, those who will tell you you can't do it. Shut the door upon them. And the Bible lets us know that as she began to feel, at a point came, there were no more vessels. And then the Bible says the oil stopped flowing. The oil stopped flowing. If she had borrowed every vessel in that village or in that town, she would have had oil flowing. You know, that's the lesson the Lord taught me. As long as you have ideas, as long as you have something, a dream, God will give you oil. You know what the oil stands for? Empowerment. As long as you have something that you're bringing to the Lord, he will give you the power to do it. The oil was for empowerment. And the Bible says that when the vessels were finished, the oil ceased flowing. Don't get just a few. Come up with ideas. Come up with needs that need to be filled. Come up with something that you can do to help the kingdom of God. God will continue to give you oil. My friends, God is not wasteful. As long as you have something to offer, he will give you the empowerment to do and to use it for. I hope these few words have blessed you today. I'm Pastor Funke, and I thank you for spending these moments with me. God bless you. See you next time.